for those of you that doubt obi is coming for those of you that doubted obi is coming let's look at and let's finally treat the case of the final address when it comes to Tinimbu for of 460,000 US dollars and our case study is just going to be from the configuration of 130 million US dollars from Nigerian ex governor Ibori. You see, one thing that pains me most is that these people keep making this money that belongs to Nigeria. They take it outside the country, and when they once they take it outside the country, the international body seizes that money, and that money goes. 460,000 US dollars would have been used to build a standard US a standard hospital in Nigeria with 130 million dollars that was confiscated by the United Kingdom would have been used to build great schools in Nigeria but I think there is this particular cult that so many of these Nigerian politicians have decided to enter that they have vowed that Nigeria will never get better but let's take a look at Labour Party final address on Tinibu's for forfeiture of 460,000 uh, know, dollars they said that his forfeiture that it was not his account that is what uh, this dude is telling us, Femi Fani Kayode and his brother, Kayoma. Kayoma is telling us that Tinimbu did not forfeit $460,000, that it was his account. And Oleni Bekun, which is the lawyer of APC, is telling us that Tinimbu did not forfeit $460,000, that it was a civil forfeiture. Not a criminal forfeiture. <laughs> we are coming now. London judge orders confiscation of 130 million dollars from Nigerian ex governor Ibori. Ibori. London, July 25, 21. Britain will seek to confiscate 103 million pounds. Okay, pounds, not even, but okay, 100 and, okay, 101 million pounds which is equivalent to 130 million dollars from james ibore a former nigerian state governor who abused his office to get rich and laundered millions in britain and elsewhere under a court order issued in london on friday ibore who is in nigeria said he would appeal against the confiscation order one of the largest imposed on an individual in recent british legal history the next step will be will be to take my fight for justice to the highest court in the UK, he said in a statement. Ibori was governor of oil producing Delta State from 1999 to 2007 and was extradited from Dubai to Britain in 2011. He pleaded guilty in 2012 to 10 counts of fraud and money laundry and received a 13 year jail sentence, of which he served half as, as his standard. In case was held as a landmark in the fight against corruption in Britain, a global money laundering hub, and in Nigeria, where self enrichment by the ruling elite has been one of the main factors holding back development for decades. Now, see, imagine if the ex governor of Delta State, where oil is being produced on daily basis, was confiscated of 101 million pounds which is equivalent to 130 million dollars how much then is the president president of nigeria stealing from delta because how, how it works is that if i'm stealing you are stealing if i'm not stealing you are not stealing so before 130 million dollars could leave the country where are the militaries where are the migrations where are the customs where are the efcc where is everybody that is, should be involved in this case of course, we are not discussing Ibori's case. We are just using his case as a sub-study on Tinubu's case. We we find it very difficult as a country to cohabit, even though we are suffering. Some people will say it is better for them to suffer than to see an Igbo man in the city. I just saw the comment before I stepped in to broadcast again. I don't have any problem with the Igbo people. I do not have problem with somebody who said that uh, he would rather suffer to see an Igbo man. But I want to tell you, <laughs> these people you are talking about, these Igbo people you people are always talking about, are the fourth richest people in the world. And they understand, even the world gives them that respect. 
So why will you jeopardize your student's destiny because of some kind of hate that you have? We are coming to that. That's not the reason why I'm broadcasting. Now, for those of you who said that Tinimbu did not forfeit $460,000, listen attentively. Now, Judge David Tomlinson, delivering the confiscation order at South Wark Crown Court, said Ibori should pay the sum immediately or face an eight-year jail sentence. Spokesperson for Nigerian President Bola Ahmed Tinimbu did not immediately respond to the request for comment on whether the Nigerian government would cooperate with the British authorities in enforcing the confiscation order. Ibori remains well connected in Nigeria. Tinimbu, who took office in May, has hosted him twice at the presidential villa along with some other former governors. Ibori frequently mingles with the ruling elite and has influence on Delta state politics. The confiscation process took over a decade after Ibori's convic conviction because of lengthy court delays and legal wrangling in London. The long and tortuous road to reach this point shows just how tough it is to recover the proceeds of corruption in the UK, said Helen Taylor, senior legal researcher of campaign group Spotlight on Corruption. You see, <clears throat> I told you earlier that before you now look into Tinimbu's case. I want you to understand that some people have already vowed that they, will not, they don't want to see Nigeria progress. And not just the politician, even the poor in the poor masses. The difference is that some people are looting money or some people are suffering. Looking at Tinibu's case now, Tinibu was caught with, with drug in the US. And they said, if we are going to forgive you, because then probably their law were not really that hard on those who are parading drugs. Can you forfeit $460,000 that you made from that drug? And he said, obviously, yes. That there's no need of him going to jail. He forfeited $460,000 US dollars. By then, that would have been maybe half of his money. Or one quarter of his money. What then happened? This has become a case study. Honor Libekun is now telling Nigerians that Tinibu did not forfeit $460,000. And Ainek is telling Nigerians that the, it was not known to them. Everything is coming to place. Because if you say that Tinibu did not forfeit $460,000, the same Ibori, James Ibori, they are talking about the ex governor of Delta State, did not equally forfeit $139 million US dollars. Things are getting out of hand. And of course, you know them when you see them. You know them when you see them. They are, they are always willing to keep covering their track. But how long will they continue to cover their tracks? It is dangerous that our country is now plugging into a point where we no longer have conscience or no longer care about the poor masses. Because some poor masses have insisted that they want to remain in the suffering side rather than the gaining side. Well, at least from this revelation, you should know that Tinibu forfeited $460,000 connected with drug. And the U.S. do not repeat their words. Thanks for supporting the Future News piece. Okay. You can see the setup at this point because there is going to be some